Hey there, Internet. I'm Kyle. Apparently, I'm back playing Ogre Battle 64. On our last episode, we marched on Latium, and now we are about to do one of my favorite missions in the game because it's a siege mission. We are going into Winia, the capital of Palantius. Let's go. Uh oh. What? Why hasn't the forbidden spell been cast yet? Would you mind keeping quiet for a while? I can't cast it now. Cal is coming. But why are you here? You don't belong here any longer. What are you saying, you more? Use the spell. Finish this. You can't stop me. Goodbye, father. What? Oh no. Oh! Oh, I'm being reduced to a singularity. Brutal. Are you gonna do an evil laugh now? No? Nobody can stop me, except... Hell. Hey, happy music, even. You will not be able to dispatch legions during this campaign. Don't worry, I've taken the liberty of disbanding all legions. Don't worry, I did too. Thank you, Hugo. Do not worry. Let's evaluate the current situation. I think that'd be a challenge run, this game, is if you could only use legions once they're available. This is our plan for sieging the castle. For this campaign, we have set up temporary headquarters. Cat. Temporary headquarters southwest of the castle. We will march on Castle Winia, which is protected by three sets of walls. Sounds familiar. We must liberate the castle and prevent the use of the ultimate power. This is your first time sieging a castle of this size. You can expect it to be similar to taking Fort Romulus. Romulus was tiny compared to Castle Winia. There are many castle walls, I'm sure there'll be guards on watch. We must pick a route and attack immediately. If we don't make a detailed plan, time will be wasted and our men will tire quickly, making them easy targets. As in Romulus, there are no strongholds to be liberated. Your men can find healing, but cannot regroup. Alright. Gotcha. Let's do it. Just concentrate on the goal at hand, Cal. Murdering that little weasel. Will do. Will do. Ah, it's just so awesome. One of my favorite tracks. I love these missions. There's a time limit. Alright. As always, we will begin by deploying some units. Okay, so, basically just splitting the army into two. Um, and also sending Dave to kind of peep over the walls, and I'll have him join one of the contingencies. Uh, so we have myself, Rachel, James, and T-Bone heading up here to the uh, uh, northwest corridor. And then um, Asriel, Zeus, Ace, and Cole, I believe, are all heading down to the south, the southern one. Um, and Dave is just like, oh, Solemn. Get out of here. Go over the wall, Dave. I'm gonna do everything as much as I can in this cool view. Alright. Everyone's just gonna wait. It's not often that this view is a really cool thing to use. But in these battles it is. Alright, um... Have T Bone go ahead and T Bone and James go ahead and attack there. Dave, you can chill momentarily. Um, and then Rachel and myself, let's go for this 
recess area for now. We'll take the next wave. All right. Dave moved down here. I'll have him likely join these guys. Alright. Yeah. Ace and Matthias take the initiative on busting down the gates. Seems very apropos. Alright. And then we're gonna have some dorks bursting through there. Asriel and Cole. You guys take the lead over here. We'll kind of do the same thing we're doing over there. So I have, um, oh, I have Ace and Zeus kind of head for the uh, recess area. Keep looking at the wrong people. <laughs> All right, and there is going to be another corridor over here that we can go to. I'm going to go ahead and just switch out of this view real quick, just so we can get a better vantage point. Okay, so it looks like we're about to have some attacks here. Give T-Bone. Trying to make this as cinematic as possible. Oof. Yeah, avoid those holy swords, Kojiro. I'd be devastated if we lost you. Annihilation! Which, um, we very likely might. <laughs> Now I'm looking at the composition of the equipment in that enemy party. Um, let's go ahead and just bust this bad boy out. Just get rid of one of those real quick. Alright, don't kill him. Oh, uh, wipe him out. Can't be dealing with those holy swords. Nice. Very good job, team. Hey, something here. Alright, so, quickly. James, also. You turn there. T-Bone. Let's have you use this heal pack. And then go ahead and start camping. Alright, and then down here. Oh. Alright, you guys got this. Nice. Go to sleep. Oh, here comes that clear disaster. Eh, this could be bad. Yeah, it's not great. heavily after that. Yeah, I forgot to give you guys healing items. Let's get you back to the stronghold. I'll go ahead and clean up that riffraff. You got this, Azriel. Oof. Do him dirty with that meteor strike, dude. Ow. Alright. 
wiped him out. Um, hopefully you guys, some, you guys have some heal packs. Yeah, these fights are pretty brutal. Hey, a couple life. Yeah, you guys got plenty. And actually, real quick here. Let me see something real quick. Alright. This one shouldn't be as bad. Yeah, that should go ahead and wipe out the leader. Get one of these gremlins taken care of. Oh no, power down! Oh yeah, Azrael, the lawful lich. <laughs> I still can't believe he's been skewing lawful this entire time. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Dave, you are exhausted, so you go and camp, my dude. Let's actually have all you guys just converge on this uh, outer garden area. Alright, um, that includes you, Mr. Asriel. And I did notice some boo shit in the works up there. Got you, T-Bone. Guys think they're so clever. Sneaky. Ooh, nice block, though. Mm. Yeah, do him dirty, Saradin. I don't think we're going to wipe him, but we'll get dang close. Wow. Yeah, we got kind of hosed there. That's okay. It's a long siege. We haven't even brought the big, big guns yet. Um, let's see. I got one heal seed. Who's the most hurt? Take it, old man. Just type these loose ends. Oh, it's a decent amount of healing there. I don't think it's going to be enough for you. move on, by which I mean, let's go hang out in this garden. And let's see what's going on down here. Yeah, they all seem to be wanting to converge. Got him. 
Hey, something here. Angel fruit. Alright, you do the same thing, bud. Let's go to recess. Once everyone's all rested up and we've taken care of these nerds. Down here. I don't even look at the enemy party makeup. Just kind of going with my gut. Ah, uh, team Big Purple Sword. It's a good team. Hey, you found an item. Evil Axe. Nice. Yeah, what are you... What are you all about? Davis. Got ways of dealing with you. Namely Cole. Ooh, this could be... Be bad. Um... So, uh, I believe Matthias called it dibs on, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the Uber Axe? Which I assume he meant Dagda's Hammer. He could have meant the Heavy Axe. If that is the case, I will swap those out. Um, but I did go ahead and give <clears throat> your boy, Ace, um, the Armor of Death and the, uh, Helmet of Death, I think? Or is it Helmet of the Fearless? Yeah, what an absolute brutal unit. Just hammers and axes. As far as the eye can see. Alright. Have Rachel move on that. Have James kind of back her up here just in case. I'll let T Bone chill out for a little while and heal. Alright, and then, uh, old Dave, you rested? Let's have you continue your silly flying ways. not be my favorite. two-hander. Alright, so, let's see. Oh, but I am seeing enemies coming from over that way, I think. I'm gonna have them start moving on that. And while I do that, we have Cole go ahead and start breaking down this one. We'll just wait for them at the gate and see what comes. Um, Zeus. Join Cole over here. Azriel, you as well. I 
I'm actually going to give Ace Unit a special mission of just going over here and taking care of anything over there and coming in from the uh, far east side. I got some healing in this group, but I think this is going to kill that ogre. Yep. Yeah, I didn't even realize it. Uh, Rachel's unit is the highest level of all units, just because of how I've used them and deployed them, and the fact that they are merchants of absolute death and destruction. I feel like I could just win the game with just this unit. <laughs> just give them nothing but heal packs. Alright, how tired are you? Have everyone post up there. Yeah, because we're on the last wall in the lead up to this. Alright, let's see here. I don't feel good about killing puppies, but we shall. Evil dead. That's ah, such a cool, cool attack. Oh, I forgot Dagda's hammer paralyzes too. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, that's that's one of the best weapons in the game. Like, obviously, like, the bow here. Super sick as well. But, uh... Oof. Just from a damage output with a Paralyze, it's insanely good. coming from over there. Let's see. I'll have Dave just fly over here and try and proc some things. Are you going to try and can you not fly over these walls, buddy? Okay. Let Dave get a little action here. Give everyone their chance to shine. Just making sure. Because y'all are doing a real good job of not attacking the leader right now. Why not? Now that hurt. Still one. Oh, no items either. Bye. Bye away. Um. What's up, Colt Camp? Yeah, I'll probably have all three of you camp. For a moment. Oh. And Ace is just over here doing the business.
Oh, it's Healy Boys, huh? Show you how we deal with Healy Boys. Okay. That is one thing that's a little disappointing about the programming is that it, it seems to not consider petrified enemies dead. So like you keep targeting them. It's just a small thing. Not that big of a deal. Let's finish these guys off. Like in that instance I'm fine with it. and right in front of the gates. Alright, you're all resting. Do we have a... Yeah, we have that central one we all need to start heading towards. Alright, um... Just have all of us start heading for that central one. Alright, let's go! Yeah, we have everyone kind of heading that way. Israel's going to peel off here and just take care of the remnants of this unit. Old Fredo. Goblet of Destiny. Nice. Oh, here comes Cole. Let's do it, bud. It's all good. I know we're not getting experience. Uh, we're losing out on that, but also, um, this is like the most casual playthrough of this game ever, so not worry about it. We'll get some statues if we need. Oh, you guys are probably super tired, huh? I didn't even think that there'd be someone guarding it. Eh, you guys still got it. Tired. Matthias just taking a nap on the field. I'm like, eh, whatever. You guys got this? Okay. Yeah, just keep going for it.
absolute brutality. Hey, take a look at this. Hey, Dave, why don't you also just join your comrades? All right, let's bust it. And go ahead and take a nap. You guys are bold enough to do that. I know there are some uh, items on this map, but uh, none of them are good. So I'm not really worried about them. Be a hundred percent honest. Yeah, I've been using um, Watcher Joshua site. I think I mentioned that in a previous episode. I know I put the link uh, in the description. If you're ever playing through the game and you got questions about where things might be or just mission maps in general, 100% use Watcher Joshua site. It also has a really awesome uh, army calculator. So if you're ever like starting the game and you want a specific configuration, uh, that tool is amazing for that. Because I know that's something I always struggle with. Because I've been using uh, the same guide by Cyrix for, you know, the better part of two decades. Um, and the math on it's correct. It's just kind of hard to interpret. Like the values and such. Oh, man, but look at this. We're all just up in here. Everyone just come to the party. We got this dork. Indy. Ah, <laughs> uh, but this little courtyard area. Ah, uh, it's so cool. Like, I would love if there was, like, an entire battle spinoff. Like, if someone got good enough at making mods of this game to just include more siege missions, maybe new mechanics... And like smaller scale things like this, like cities, ugh, be awesome. All right. Uh, who has not done much? I feel like everyone's gotten a little action today. Um, I'll have Zeus take out this guy because I feel like we only had him for one battle, and then have myself and Rachel follow up. Yeah, just why not just everybody? I wish there was an option just for everybody. Let's get everybody involved. Just a slow procession. Why not? Does everybody form a conga line up there? We can go kill this nerd once and for all. Word of pain. Spooky scary. I was actually pretty smart. But can you survive one more round of attacks? Oh, got resisted. Oh. Perfection. Sword Squad. E found an item. All right. All right. Get ready for everyone to just continuously tell me their life stories. I'm just gonna wait for it. All right, we got Hicks here. Um, uh, 
Uh, just because I continue to find it hilarious. And also, you know, a lot of the other subunits have been around a lot longer and have done a lot more cool things. I'm going to take Cole in here with me. Let's get it, dude. You leave the charge, take out that daemon for me, and I will kill my childhood friend who turned out to be a total rich douche nozzle. Also, his battles are really short. <laughs> it's a time saver. I know, um... Uh, Matthias, um... The sub, <laughs> the person, actually speedruns this game. Um, and he does comment on almost all these videos. Um, I know in a speedrun, time is of the essence, so you probably don't have time to farm a, uh, Gorgon. Um, you ever roll the dice and try to get just one of them? Through like a love and peace or something on a mission. Yumo. Is that really you, Yumo? I knew you'd make it, Cal. I gained the ultimate power. I will change this world with my own hands. I have nothing to fear. There's no need to fear Lotus either. I will rule both humans and the denizens of the netherworld. I will become the sovereign of this world. No one was able to achieve it until now. That sounds like you need to be stabbed talk to me. Come, Cal. Only you are worthy to serve me. I will reign over the entire world, and you will be my knight. Ultimate power? Yumo, you succumbed to the darkness. What you talking about, Yumo? In the legend, the progenitor didn't acquire the power of the darkness. That was the ultimate power, the same power that I have gained. With this, I will accomplish my goal. To invoke the spell? To eliminate all who stand in your way? Is that really your goal? Indeed. Whoever interferes with my plan will be killed. But because you are here, because you are coming to me, I didn't cast it. I can go on now that you're here. I don't need anything else. I will cast the forbidden spell and everything will come to naught. Cal, will you, you will help me, right? I mean, if part of the spell is cutting your head off, yes. No. I cannot let you do that. Why? Why do you say such things to me? You raise your sword to me? You understand what I'm trying to do, don't you? I won't forgive you, Cal. No one, not even you, are allowed to defy me. No one defies me and lives. Oh boy, I've been waiting a couple episodes here. Get a crack at your stupid face. Mm. Ow. Kill him. Good job, you all. Ultimate what now? Progenitor of getting killed? Sovereign of sucking? Alrighty. Hey, a champion statuette. I think uh, if you don't kill the two knights of Danica in the previous mission, they show up here in S4. Yumo. No! Don't go near him! Because of you! Because he wanted to stand beside you, Yumo! For me? You're saying that Yumo chose to walk in the darkness for me? That's weird. What are you saying? The power my lord attained! That was the true pow ultimate power! Yumo is the goddess Danica's... Stop, Mary. I'll tell him. I was the child of the Covenant. Child of the Covenant? Long ago, when Danica became the Queen of the Netherworld, Bareth, out of compassion, divided Danica's body into five parts and imprisoned her deep within the earth. Her arms and legs changed form into Knights of Danica, who came, became protectors of the Chaos Gate and kept watch over the Netherworld. And separated from her body, her soul went into a deep sleep. 
That's the legend of the gods of birth and Danica. The Apocrypha. Is that correct? By chance, the progenitor came across the Chaos Gate. There, he met the knight who guarded it, the knight of Danica, and made a pact with him. The content of the pact was, in exchange for the ultimate power, the progenitor had to give up one of his descendants to Danica. And the offering turned out to be me. But that's all legend. Are you telling me that the legend's true? And that you're part of it? Danica slept alone for what seemed an eternity. Unable to withstand her loneliness, she yearned to be awakened, be brought back to life, but she needed a body to dwell within. And I was chosen. The power I wield is Danica's, and I was never human. I wasn't you, Moldomer. But I'm grateful. I was able to become who I am now. Though I found out what I was... Though I found out I was not human, I was able to be like you. Cal... You were my idol. Everything I wanted to be. You didn't do a very good job of emulating me. After he descended into the netherworld and discovered his destiny, Yumo decided to make the world his own, to reign over all humans and netherworlders. He believed that when, then you will not have a reason to fight, and you will return to him. Cal, if you only followed my lord, all would have ended. Yeah, but he wanted to install himself as a dictator for life in all eternity. Fuck that. What would have ended? Tell me. What the hell is supposed to come to an end? That's not the reason I fight. Come on, Yumo. Did you want this world to be like that? No, right? You wanted to bring peace to the people. Eh? It's not too late to start over. Cal. No, no, Yumo. Mary? Don't leave me. Yumo, please don't go. What? Cal, get back, Yumo. It's okay. Mary, let's go. Let's go together. He's mine. Nobody else can have him. Whoa! Overreact much? No, you will. I. No! This happened. Lady Danica cannot be. Why did you let your emotions take control of you, fool? There's no other choice. Mary, you're my last hope. You will. Are you all right, Yumo? Cal, please listen to me. Now that the Knights of Danica are destroyed, if I die, the only thing left is the seal of the ruins. When the seal is broken, Danica will be resurrected. Don't move, Yumo. Who cares about that? You must relax, Kyle. This is extremely important. Danica is an unstable being. She is a demigoddess and the queen of the netherworld. If she does return as queen, the battle against the netherworlders will spread throughout the world. Ogre battle. 64. That's right. You understand now. You need to hurry and come back. Promise that you'll come back to me. You are my... Yumo, I'll make this world the way you wish it to be. I'm only an ordinary human, but I'll realize your dream. I'll do it. Promise. Watch me, Yumo. I don't need more. Frederick, our battle with the Central Division is over. Do you think the revolution was a success? Will this king to be able to recover? Will you let us go? Cal, where are you planning to go? My fight isn't over yet. Resurrection of Danica? Ogre battle must be stopped. We have to protect this land, this world that Yuma loved. 
I only know how to fight. It's sad, but that's all I can do. I must go. All the members of the Death Corps feel the same. Cal, we'll go with you. Will you approve our leave, Frederick? I can't stop you. Yes, on one condition. You must come back. There are still many things that you must do. This is a new beginning for Palantius. Promise me that you'll come back alive. All right, guys. Uh, so that actually marks the end of the Revolutionary War. And now we're going deeper into something else. Um, on the next episode, we're going to head to the Aurora Plains and confront the denizens of the Netherworld and try to stop the resurrection of the goddess Danica. I've had a ton of fun with this, guys. I think we're down to less than five more of these before we'll reach the end of the game. Um, if you've been along with me on this journey thus far, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Kyle, apparently, and I will see you next time. Oh, your next appearance in case you don't survive.